boy, we the Bloodhound unit, uh, yeah. we have multiple dogs in the agency. We have dogs that work in our jails that find cell phones and cash. We have dogs that work in the uh, airport that find bombs. We have other dogs that find narcotics. We have patrol dogs that find at, um, suspects where uh, criminal apprehension. Then we have Bloodhounds. Bloodhounds do no, no protection, no handler protection. They don't do any bite work. They're extremely friendly. Um, the dogs are going to work in the districts. Uh, Oakland Park and Cooper City have a dog, and now District 5, which is our central location, uh, is going to have a dog, and the dogs are exclusively used to find at-risk missing people, not criminals. If somebody's an at-risk person, is because there's a, a regular missing person, which is a runaway, uh, dad didn't come home for dinner type thing, and then there's uh, Grandma's always here because she takes medicine at 6 and it's now 9 o'clock. We can't find her. Um, there's a time delay. Uh, an average person walks about 4 miles an hour. So it's important that we get a direction of travel. Um, and if somebody, nobody saw her leave, we show up with the dogs. We take a scent article, which is a piece of clothing, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, something that's exclusive to that person. And then we um, set, set the dog up and we trail them and all the resources start going that way. We use our aviation unit and, and everybody can help find them quicker.